G'day guys, Jim from Retrox here. I'm off on a drive to a, a fellow seller's place, uh, Furio. Uh, he lives in Ingardine. I live in Sutherland Shire. Um, so I'm just on the on the way to his place now. It's about 15 minutes from my place. And on the way, we're going to be going past the Royal National Park. The Royal National Park is actually the second oldest national park in the entire world. Um, after the uh, Yellowstone, which is established in 1872, Royal National Park is 1879, and uh, Yosemite National Park is 1890. So yeah, it's the second oldest in the world, and it's the oldest in Australia. And I live about 10 minutes from it. We're going to be turning a corner very soon, and we're going to be going past the outside of it. Um, it's 150 square kilometers big it's about 58 square miles um, there's two small townships in the Royal National Park one is Bundina and one is Mainbar um, according to the 2021 census there was only 42 people living there that's probably gone up to about 100 by now um, so yeah here's the outside of it um, I, I actually used to have a, a customer in uh, Mainbar inside the National Park uh, they had a beach house and I uh, used to go there every couple of weeks and uh, maintain the property, do the lawns and the gardens. I uh, ran into quite a few uh, animals in there, kangaroos, wallabies, heaps of deers. Uh, what else? Um, oh, snakes, black, red belly blacks and brown snakes. Uh, heaps of lizards, water dragons, uh, blue tongues skinks um, and I saw my first uh, funnel web spider in in the national park so yeah I used to enjoy uh, working in there actually it's like a mini holiday I used to take my fishing rod with me so when I finished I just uh, wade out to the sandbar and do a bit of fishing uh, it's a great place to pump the yabbies yabbies are little uh, what would you call them like little crustaceans little nippers which the fish love to eat so yeah, I'd do a bit of fishing after work. Um, so yeah, we're going to Furio's place. Furio, I met through eBay. Um, later on uh, in this video, you'll see some of the things I bought from him last time. So he was good enough to email me and say that he's got a few more fire vehicles for sale. Uh, would I want to come and have a look at them? So I did. A uh, very uh, hospitable guy, knows his fire trucks. Um, as I said in the previous video, he's an exporter of fire trucks. Exporter or importer? Importer, sorry. Yeah, mainly uh, he hangs out in Singapore, uh, imports a lot of Singaporean models into Australia. So, yeah, just uh, kick back and enjoy the little. Scenic Drive, uh, shouldn't take too much longer to get there. I did actually speed this up a bit, so um, it looks like I'm driving fast when I actually am. Beautiful day, uh, picture perfect, blue sky, hardly any clouds in the sky. Just taking the turn off now. Great time of year, this is in autumn. It's autumn here in Sydney, Australia. Trees are changing colour, going to red and then dropping off the trees. Yeah, Sutherland Shire is a very um, tree-lined suburb, tree-lined area actually. Uh, plenty of bushes and trees and foliage. Plenty of wildlife. Yeah, so um, when we get to Furio's place, there's the Inga Dean sign. Uh, when we get there, I'll just park and turn the camera off, and then uh, we'll go inside and uh, have a bit of a chat, see what he's got to offer. So as I said, it's about a 15-minute drive to Furio's place.
and we should be there in less than a minute now getting very close I actually missed a turn off <laughs> I, was, I was watching the, the camera and I missed uh, the GPS's uh, instructions so I missed a turn but uh, we're almost there so don't forget to stay tuned for the end part which is the main part of this video where we will look at all the fire truck models that I bought at Furio and um, yeah just have a closer look at them should be one more turn I think this looks like it looks like it just up ahead here it is and we're in his street okay and this is what he brought out a couple of trays of fire trucks and um, so stay tuned for the main part of the video and enjoy okay so I'm back in the car and here's what I bought a whole bag full of goodies so stay tuned and uh, we'll go through them one by one and we'll critique the models and tell me which one you like the best G'day guys, welcome back to Red Trucks, my name is Jim. Today we have a new arrivals video. The fire vehicles you see in front of you were bought from um, a colleague of mine, Furio. Uh, you would have remembered Furio um, from a previous video where I bought this um, Polistil Alfa Romeo model and uh, this one, the Penny model. And I also bought that beautiful uh, Scania Singapore Civil Defence Force um, model. So yeah, I went back to Furio's place and because uh, he called me or he emailed me and said, hey Jim, you want to come and have a look at some more models that I've got for sale? So I thought, great. I went over there. Uh, as you would have seen in the in the previous bit of the video where I, I drove to his house. So... But before we do that, I'm just going to show you some other stuff I, uh, I bought on eBay. Uh, these are just cars. Uh, these are for a friend. I won't be keeping these. Uh, the Commodore I bought for a buddy of mine who loves Holden models. Uh, this one. So this will be going to him. I believe it's a, uh, I think it's a VR, doesn't really tell you. Yeah, but uh, what's this say? It's from year 2000, but I think it's a VR, 2001. But I also already have two of these. Now this red one, which I'll be keeping, and this other yellow one, which I'm not sure what I'm doing with. And apparently these were part of a series where they uh, released a lot of variations of this model. Um, I don't think I'll get it out, will I? No, it's, it's sealed. I'll send that off to my mate as it is. But yeah, it looks pretty nice, those flames. The wheels... Uh, they got different wheels. So this one's got a fire spoke. This one's got a fire spoke as well, but a different type. And this one's got another type of wheel again. So I've seen at least five variations of this Commodore. And so far I've bought three of them. So yeah. And the other car I bought on auction on eBay. It started off at five dollars, and I ended up getting it. I think it was five, five fifty or six bucks. I'm not sure. But yeah, I just thought it was it was kind of cool. It's a '60s Ford Econoline pickup. Looks like it's got a metal base. Oh. What's the copyright? Twenty sixteen. Yeah, nice tempers. Nice techos. 50th anniversary. Um, what was in the series? These are the cars in the series. 
I think I've actually got that javelin if it's a red, white, and blue one. Um, so 27 anuses from. Yeah, I just bought this. I thought I'll give this away to someone. I'm expecting a few boxes from mates from around the world, so I'm starting to gather some models to send off to them. So this will be one of them. Along with that Commodore, Commodore at the back. Wow. I can barely reach the back. Uh, okay, so let's get into the models that I bought off Furio. Uh, he also gave me these these stickers for free. Uh, they're actually decals, so these will come in handy. It's nice of him to give me these. And some sort of brochure, which I haven't actually looked at. Some sort of photocopy. Oops. There'll be some Italian things. Coppa Nazionale. Nazionale. Coppa Nazionale. Vigili di Fuca. So that's the Italian. Because, um, yeah, Furio is Italian. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into them. Um, let's start off with these. Uh, three of these including this first one, I've already used in a uh, challenge video. Uh, I think it was show 10 of the same kind. I think that was the name of it, something like that. And I used three of these in that video before I actually looked at these in um, detail. So today we're going to look at them in detail. So um, this one is the Fiat 500 van. If we can focus the uh, camera, get, <clears throat> sorry, camera gets distracted by what's in the background. There you go, by Universal Hobbies. So yeah, a little Fiat 500 panel van. Number plates, lensed headlights. Do I have my torch here? Where is that flashing torch? Here he is, and he's going to behave himself. So there's the interior, it's quite nice. There's a separate black piece with the um, dials, black steering wheel. Let's go around to the other side. Yeah, that's very well done. Just two seats in it. Let's go back to normal focus. Windscreen wipers, side mirrors. It's got this soft top that I could peel back. Very nice hubcaps on the wheels. Nice exhaust system. Latches and number plate light. Yeah, I really like this one. So it's nice. Little rubber tyres, is it? I think they're rubber. Or maybe plastic. Hard hard rubber or plastic. Vigili de Fuca. Yeah, I've never seen a Fiat 500 in this um, body type before. Very nice. Okay, next we have this uh, Matchbox model, I think it was. No, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. So it's got a plastic base, but surprisingly it's very heavy. It's from 1998. When I looked at it, I, f I didn't think much of it. Uh, as you would have seen in the video, Furio brought them out on a tray. And uh, I thought this was all plastic, but actually this back part is metal. That's, uh, that's one of the main reasons I bought it. If it was all plastic, I may not have bought it. There's the interior, pretty basic, but it is what it is. Um, the van itself is a, I don't know, Chevy or GMC. City of Hot Wheels. And it has an opening part, or two opening parts. The rear opens, so apparently it's a little 
a little ambulance. Yeah, there we go. I guess that's the stretcher on the right there. So that's quite nice for a, you know, a sort of a cheap model. It's got a little side mirrors, the uh, light bar on top, driving lights. Yeah, and as I said, all metal, except for the base. Surprisingly heavy. So that's a nice addition. Uh, next up, we have the... Uh, what is this? It's a Fiat 500C Topolino, according to my research. Let's have a look at the base. Of course, I got it upside down. And it's hard to read, but it's a, it's a Brum model. You can see the Brum up the top in uh, running writing. Made in Italy. I think it says one... 140 scale, maybe a torch will help. If I can get a good angle. Uh, maybe not. I'll zoom it in the uh, editing. But, um, or maybe it's 143 actually. Very slim tyres. Uh, nothing opens, I don't think. No. Little number plate. Soft top. Spotlight on top, windscreen wipers molded into the windscreen, lens headlights. It's a cute little car. Let's uh, check the interior. Left hand drive. I guess they drive left on the left hand side in Italy, do they? I suppose so. That seat looks like it's reclined. Do the seats actually recline or something? Oh no, they're level. Just why did that look like it was reclined before? I don't know. Oh, it moves. There you go. That's why the door doesn't open, does it? No. And the roof piece, I don't think it's supposed to come off, but the seats can recline. It's it's unusual. So that's pretty cool. The Fiat 500C Topolino from the brand um, Brom. Do we look at a base? We did, didn't we? Yeah, Brom. Held together with a screw. Hmm, very nice. Okay, next up we have the Fiat 1100 58. 508C, according to my research. <laughs> uh, so look, it's a Brum, I think it's a Brum model again. 143 scale. It's a Brum, held together with two screws. This one's got some good uh, detail in the suspension and the uh, diff and the, the drivetrain and such. Transmission. I think these are rubber tyres. Lens headlights, number plate frame. Little searchlight on top. Does seem to be missing something just there. I'm not sure what was supposed to be there. If it can focus, there you go. Very small rear window. Yeah, very unusual. So glad to have um, become acquainted with Furio and his Italian models because I don't have many Italian models in my collection. And these are all diecast as well. So yeah, that's a nice one. So we've been through those four. Uh, next up we have this one. Uh, Furio had two, two versions of this. He had a dark red one as well, but it didn't have any uh, decals. And I like decals, so I chose this one. Uh, so looking at the front, it's got a number plate. 
the lights could use a bit of chrome paint and really bring it out nicely. Uh, rubber tires. Fiat Cam Campagnola. Cam Campagnola, yeah. Campagnola. Oh, this is from old cars, made in Italy. And this one has a few, besides a spare rubber wheel, this one has a few extra features. You can remove the roof. Look at that. It's pretty cool, eh? So you can get a good gander at the interior. The roof is just plastic. The windscreen goes up and down or folds down forward. And also it has engine detail. If I can just get my finger in there, there you go. Let's have a bit of zoom on that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's a zoom there. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Typical. So yeah, that's the Fiat Cam Pagnola with a little removable roof and the opening hood. That is super cool. Okay, next um, I'm gonna have a look at this big big one. Very heavy this one. Where's this from? Uh, I think it's a Del Prado. Yeah, it's a Del Prado made in China. And it is a 164 scale 1998, 1999 engine tunnel, tunnelize Iveco 190E 44 watt 3 8. Tunnelize, does that mean it's a tunnel rescue vehicle? I'm not sure. Getting a lot of background interference. But this is really well detailed. Rubber tires, rubber single tires at the back. Let's have a look at the interior. Left hand drive. It's, it's a crew cab. So it's got seating for uh, probably five, five firemen. It's got the spear wheel on top. The ladders, all the rescue equipment, little beacon light at the back. Yeah, this is really well done. Nice shutters. Got the Iveco label there. Side mirrors. Lights of detail. Yeah, nice truck. It's it's very tall and narrow. Sepius Pompiers. Yeah, very nice. I'm happy with this. Are we going for time? It's going to be over 20 minutes again. So there's that one. And then there's this Iveco. I really liked this one. As soon as I saw it, I knew I was going to buy it. This is a Del Prado as well. I always get upside down. Ah, oh. <laughs> I had it the right way. Uh, 150 scale 1998 AF Combi Iveco. Single wheels at the back. Oh, look at this detail. Let's have a look at the interior. It's got a bit of uh, seating at the back for a crew, I believe. Looks like it. Big shutter, whole range of ladders, hook ladder, beacon lights, uh, toolbox. Spotlights at the back. 
Yeah, very nice. It is mainly die cast, all the little accessories of plastic, of course. The side mirrors, plastic, front detail. Looks pretty good. What does that say? What does that say above Oveco? I think it's a series of numbers. Yeah, but great looking model. I'm really happy with that one. Okay, uh, and finally, or not finally, um, this one. This was really interesting as soon as I saw this. I knew I'd get this as well. I love unusual fire department vehicles. So this is a die cast metal. Road, road Champs. 1990 West Coldwell made in China and it's a Winnebago Winnebago is that uh, American brand of camper van I guess you call them um, and this one's been made into a fire department control unit so that is super cool I'm going to have a look inside in just a second, just going to finish the exterior. Love that light bar. It's a really, it's a really nice light bar. That. It's got a little spotlights, a number. I guess that's the air conditioning unit. A little tool from. Quite a heavy piece too, so let's go inside. It looks like it's still set up to be a camper van. Looks like it's got a sink and some things. There's the st steering area, the driving area, sorry. Those seats are really far forward. Look at that. <laughs> I guess it's got to be forward of the door, I guess. But I can see another like a swivel chair inside or something. Yeah, it looks like it's still got the stuff for camping in there. Anyway, I'm really happy to get that because I, I, I've never seen this model before. It's just great. What was the brand racing? Is it uh, road road champs? I've heard of that brand. It's like a big ass camper van. Great. Okay, better get started on the end of the video. Uh, so we've seen that. We've seen that. So the last thing to see is this. Uh, Furio gave me this as a free gift. It's just a little little crane. So let's open it up and have a look inside. It's from Tomica. It's uh, the mini crawler crane. Looks like a cross between a spider and a scorpion. Number 63. And Japanese writing. Made in Vietnam, huh? Vietnam. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Oh, it's green. There it is. And that's what it looks like. Wow. In real life, it's actually green, but for some reason on this video, it's coming out blue. I don't know why. It's, it's a really nice shade of green, but oh, this extends. This part comes out as well. Wow. 
And these little legs. Now these all move. It's like a little spider. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Got little, little tracks. And it's actually got little rubber tracks on it. Look at that. Can you see that moving? That's amazing. 2007. The, the tracks don't move, but they're rubber. That is so cool. Wow. What's that decal in there? Oh, it's a picture of the crane. Yeah, it looks like a crab. That is pretty out there. <laughs> wow. Let's see it stand up. Yeah, on a piece of white paper. There you go. Look at that. It's like a scorpion cross spider. The little crane. So many moving parts on it. I like that. So let's fold him up. And that's him all folded up. How cool is that? It reminds me of a little soldier crab you see on the beach. You come out of the holes. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks, Furio. Alrighty, then. Uh, I think that's about all i got for you today. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me which one you like the best. Um, for me personally, I liked... Well, I like all of them. If I had to pick a favourite... Hmm... It would be between the Iveco and the Winnebago. And if I had to choose between the two, I think I'd go for the Iveco. But they're all they're all very cool in their own ways. So yeah, um, I'm really glad I, I met Furio and become acquainted with him. And I look forward to doing business with him in the future. So if you're watching Furio, thanks very much for your hospitality. And it was great meeting your wife and talking about fire trucks. I could have stayed there for hours. <laughs> Maybe next time. But yeah. Alrighty, guys. I better wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.